Good morning Mr. Abu Bakr. Good morning. Are we going to run out of fresh water? Only a small amount of the water in the world is the fresh water, many plants and animals need. It seems amazing that we don't run out of fresh water, but nature recycles that water. This recycling is called the water cycle. What is the water cycle? The water cycle is a way that water moves all around the earth. It never stops and doesn't really have a beginning or an end. It's like a big circle. There are three phases of the water cycle. Evaporation, condensation, and precipitation. I'll describe it by starting with water that's on land. For example, water in the ocean or a lake. Some water on the surface of the ocean will evaporate due to heat from the sun. When it evaporates it turns into water vapor and goes up into the atmosphere. This water vapor gets together with a lot of other water vapor and turns into clouds. Clouds move about the earth with the weather and once they are so full of water they drop the water to earth in some form of precipitation. It could be rain, snow, sleet, or hail. When the water hits the earth it may fall right back into the ocean or feed a flower or be snow on the top of a mountain. Eventually this water will evaporate and start the whole cycle again. What happens if there is no water cycle on earth? There would be no life on earth. Without the water cycle, things that occur normally every day would not be able to function. The water cycle is extremely important to our world. What is an example of evaporation? When you are making pasta and you boil water. If you measure the water before you boil it, then after, you will have more before you boil it than after you boil it. This is because the stove acts like the sun and heats up the water, the water evaporates into the air leaving less in the pot. What is an example of condensation? When you get into the shower, hot vapor fills the air, when you get out cold air comes in and makes the water vapor stick to windows, walls, and mirrors. What is an example of precipitation? When you have a snowstorm. This is an example of precipitation, so is anything to do with hail, snow, sleet, and rain. It's amazing. Thank you Mr. Abu Bakr Shlubi. Thank you for watching. We invite you to continue along with us. Please, subscribe here.